Welcome friends, by the end of this video, you will be able to understand the need and the use of distributed tracing in the context of microservices. As with any software, in case of microservices also it is a good chance of things going wrong. And when they actually do, in case of microservices, it is a big challenge to find out in which service the actual error has occurred and where to fix it. Suppose there are four microservices in your system, order, payment, product and pricing. You'll have to check the logs of all these services one by one and then try to find out which service is the actual culprit and where to fix the issue. It could be a very tedious process. And this is where distributed tracing can come to our rescue. It is achieved using a unique correlation ID. A correlation ID is unique for a particular client and it is passed to all the subsequent requests of that client. And it is also passed to all inter-services requests for that client. And all the requests and responses for that client are logged against this correlation ID. So by using this correlation ID, we can easily track issues related to that particular client. So this diagram shows a couple of services, customer and order service, posting tracing logs to a tracing service, which is further coupled with a visualization tool. Since it's a centralized logging service, all the microservices will post their trace logs to this service. And all the microservices post the logs in an asynchronous fashion so that their own API performance time is not affected by it. And icing on the cake of having a centralized logging service is that we can connect it to a visualization tool which can help us to visualize logs, filter logs based on correlation ID or request type or any other filter criteria required for our investigation. So using it, we can track all services together. And we can also do the profiling of our system. We can filter requests based on the business logic and data points. And you know, it is also capable of integrating with multi clustered environments of the same service and multi clouds as well. And you know, it can help us run customized queries on our tracing logs. And it can also help us track request and response time. So friends, this was all about distributed tracing. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel for more such videos and also do press the bell icon so that you may get a notification for our videos. And once again, we thank you a lot for watching this video.